Control Net for SDXL is finally here, but it is for Comfy UI. No! <laughs> It's not that bad. I have a video here that explains a build for SDXL using the base model and the refiner and all of the different nodes are explained. But in this video, I have a download for you for a JSON file where you have the build, including the control net, which right now works for Kenny and depth map. And now I'm going to show you how to set everything up. Let's get started. You need two things for that. Of course, you need the models on this page here. I will link that under the video. You will see here smaller files and mid files, but they did not work for me. So down here, you also have a full size control net for the Kenny method and the depth method. So you want to click on that and this is going to give you another page. And there you have here the file version. Click on this. You can see that there are different files. There's also safe tensor models. There is a FP16 version. It only has 2.5 gigabytes, which is still big, but it is at least smaller than the other version and worked very well for me. Download it with this button here. And of course, you're going to download this into your ComfyUI folder in there again into the ComfyUI folder in there into the models folder and in there into the control net folder where you can put all of your control net files. Now, as you can see here, when you're downloading it, it comes with a non descriptive name. So you can change that name upon download, for example, put XL Kenny at the start of the file. So you know that this is for the XL Kenny method. And then, of course, you do the same thing here for the depth model. So you click on this, you click on file and version, and then you download the FP16 version into the same folder. But in this case, you're going to rename that to XL depth. After this is done, we also need the additional notes we want to use here. So you go to the second page here, scroll down, you find here a command. You don't need most of that. You only need this part here in the middle that says git clone. Copy this, go again into your ComfyUI folder, in there into the ComfyUI folder again, and in there into the custom notes. In there, you want to click up here in this bar and you want to write CMD and hit enter. This means you have a command window now and you are already in the custom notes folder. So for that, you want to paste this in here and then hit enter. And this is going to download the files for you. After you've done this, you have a new folder in here called ComfyUI ControlNet Preprocessors. You want to open that up and in there you're going to find several install files. The one that worked for me is the install.py. So double click that and wait for everything to finish installing. After this is done, you want to load my JSON file that I will link below the video. So over here on the right side, you have a load button. Click on that and load the JSON file. And this is going to load this build here that I explain in this other video that you want to watch if you want to check out what all of these different nodes are and how that build works for SDXL with the base model and the refiner model. What's interesting for us right now is only this part here with these additional nodes. So we're going to load an image that we have as an input for our control net. And then we have two different preprocessors. One is the depth map. The other one is the Kenny method. And of course, you need to load your model that you want to use with this preprocessor. So of course, the loaded image goes into the preprocessors. In this case, it's Kenny. And then it goes here into the preview so that you see what you are getting. Here you have a low threshold and a high threshold. You want to experiment with them to see what kind of output you get. If you don't have enough details in the image, probably your high threshold is set by too high of a value. So experiment with that to see that you get a good output. Then down here for load control net, you want to load the model, of course, that is fitting this method. So in this case, of course, we need the Kenny model for that. Now this goes down here into apply control net for that. We have here the control net input and the image input, and then also the positive and negative prompt. Now, the question is, where do they come from and where do they go afterwards? So for that, I'm going to move this prompt down here so you can see everything a little bit closer. So what you want to do is to have the base prompt 
So for the base rendering, where the image is first rendered and have the positive and negative prompt go up here into positive negative prompt. And then you want to lead this out into the positive and negative prompt for your first case sampler that is rendering the base image not the refiner image because at the refiner stage the image is already prepared mostly so you can't really change anything about its look but let's go back to this part here in case you want to build this yourself where do you actually find all these nodes well it's actually very easy to find them you want to double click on the background and there you have a search bar up here so type in here whatever you need for example control and then you can see here you have your control net loader you click on this and this is gonna add this new node to your canvas the same goes for the depth map preprocessor the canny load image preview image and the apply control net and then you simply connect them but you can also see that all of these nodes have clearly marked inputs and outputs the image goes into the image of course and then the control net goes into the control net and so on so all of that is very easy to understand if you want to render an image you want to click up here on Q prompt. Now, of course, at this point, you might wonder where does actually the prompt go? This is over here where it says text prompts. Zoom in that with your mouse wheel. You have your positive prompt up here. You have your negative prompt down here. And then you also have here a little bit of a description below that about the text prompts and how to use them. And of course, as you can see down here on the right side, we have our preview of the output. So with that, you can simply right click on this and you can either open the image or save the image to your drive. But you will also find all of the rendered images in the output folder inside of the ConfUI folder. And that's it already, my friends. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.